So in the previous video, we were working on the word phrase button after setting up our clock and our timers. Um, and where we left off was initializing our index to picking a random number off of our list uh, or the length of our list. So this way we always have a random uh, number occurring versus how many are left on the list so we can pull a new item so the player who's played it before doesn't know the order. So now we're going to set that item label. So we're going to come up here and we're going to set the label that we want to display our word with. And we're going to take the text of that to selecting an item off this list. So we're going to select an item off the list. And the list that we want is our global charades. And again, we're indexing here. So we're going to uh, get it off the index that was chosen randomly. So that whatever's chosen randomly here, we're going to pull from that index. The next thing that we want to do, so this cannot have that word come up more than once, is we want to remove an item from the list. So let's find it here. Remove item from the list. And what we're going to remove is from the list, the global charades, and whatever index we've created, or whatever index number uh, we pulled from here. Now, we have our procedure for an addition score. So obviously, we've had a successful one here. So we're going to also add on to our addition variable. So now we have basically the bones to run this game, the programming to run the game. What we need to do now is uh, create our reset button, meaning what happens when we reset? Well, we want to set our global score. I'm just going to duplicate here and drag down. We're going to set our global score to zero. We're going to set our score label. Uh, and I have that somewhere here. Set our score label. Yep. Duplicate. And we're going to set our score label to getting our global score, which will reset it to zero. We're going to set our item text here, meaning we don't want to display an item. We're going to set that to being blank, just like when the game started. Then we're going to set our global charades, meaning our variable for that, to an empty list. So we're going to come up here. We're going to set our global charades. And we're going to come here and we're going to create an empty list. So if there's words left on it, we want to uh, get rid of it. So what we're going to do then is we're going to come up here and we're going to go add items to our list. What list do we want to add them to? Well, our global charades. Now, what we want to do is we've come here. We can see all of this. So I'm going to duplicate this and bring it down. Right now, I only have three list items on my list. So an easy way is once you have that done, you're going to then bring in your different strings to this list. And you can just move them over. So again, I only set up three. Obviously, this game wouldn't have a lot of playability, but for the demo, demo app, you can see. So now when I hit my reset button, we're going to empty the list and then make the list to whatever we had in the original list. So the game is playable again. So now we can see with that coding done, here's our emulator. We click on it. We get our new phrase. We can see that our timer is. Uh, if I click on it again, we can see that we've gotten a point. If I skip, we can see that we've gotten zero points. So this is how it should run. Again, this is just a simple charades app. You need to design uh, your own features, your own layout to this to make it more playable.